Hi, kitty. Hi, sweet kitty. Would you like to be with me on YouTube? Huh? Do you want to be with me on YouTube? I tell you what I'll do. I'm going to do my intro and then you can decide from there if you want to be on YouTube or not. Hi, YouTube fans. This is Matt of Post April 6th YouTube channel. Oh boy, yesterday was quite a day. Um, it was snowing outside so heavily that the amount of uh, inches of snow that accumulated between um, Wednesday night after about uh, 9 p.m. until 6 a.m. this morning, which would be... which would be until about 5 or 6 a.m. March 16th of this year. And as many of you know, this is the day before St. Patrick's Day. Um, let me go look at the calendar and double check that really quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I must state a correction. Um, it happened, it started snowing really heavily and it started getting cold at about 9 p.m. somewhere between 7, actually somewhere between 7.45 and 9 p.m. Mountain Time. And I was, uh, I, I checked out at work, uh, clocked out, and then I did some grocery shopping, and then about uh, 10, 15 minutes later, uh, I had a Uber ride arrive, and uh, he drove me home, and believe me, there was quite a bit of snow. It wasn't like blizzard-like weather, but it was uh, a uh, a uh, forerunner or a precursor to what a um, what a blizzard would look like by how thick the snow was and what the sky looked like, and and how the snow was coming down and everything you could see right in front of you even if it was much further than this, this far away. And um, I, I warned my managers while I was at the grocery store doing the work, doing what I was supposed to do on, on Wednesday night that uh, I had a strong feeling that I was not going to be able to make it. And then I said, however, I will not just ask to be taken off the schedule right now. Um, why don't I wait until tomorrow and then I will make sure to call in at least one hour before I have to show up. And I called two hours before I had to show up and spoke with the front end supervisor and told him why I couldn't make it. He said, okay, thanks. And then that was it. But yesterday, I, I tell you, I was bored to tears. Even with all the entertainment, it just, it felt like there was something missing. And the other thing was, is um, I believe it was 7.42, 7.45, somewhere in there. Uh, my, my, my Uber ride shows up. And when my Uber ride, when we went up the, the steep hill and then we turn to go to the, um, to the drugstore to get the prescription drug that is uh, a, a, a key thing that I have to take for hypertension. Uh, which one it is, I'm not allowed to say it on the air on, or on my, on my YouTube vlog. And uh, he got stuck and then a, two women came, come out and helped. <clears throat> and one of them just happened to have a, a shovel, uh, a snow shovel. And then what I did was, is I just, with my foot, I just, I just scooted, I just scooted it by my foot like you know, to get it out of the way, you know, at the back of the car, not the front. And then um, we got in, and he kept he kept backing up, forward, backing up, forward, backing up until finally he got out of the out of the spot where he was stuck. And he tur he re he returns me back to my um, apartment because I knew good and well that if I did not show up at least two minutes before 8 p.m. The pharmacy would have to turn me away and say, nope, sorry, we can't help you, we're closed. Yep. They have a lot of strict rules they have to follow. 
because they're, they're, they're dealing with uh, pharmaceuticals and it's, it's something that's under uh, certain state governmental um, certified uh, licensing that they have to comply with and it's probably also federal. What federal that would be, I don't think that would be by the AMA, but, the, but by the uh, Food and Drug Administration, I, or at least that's what I would assume. So, I cleaned this baby out real good before I started the vlog. And let's do, a, I'm gonna do an experiment. I'm gonna see what it looks like when I hold it right up to the lens. So let's try with this side and then I'll switch it over to the other lens. Oh wow, that makes my little face look a little bit big, bigger. How about that? <laughs> wow, and there's a little bit of a reflection. Yeah, look at that. Sort of looks like video feedback. Sorry, I had to tilt my head this way because I thought my kitty cat had hopped up on the... Oh, neat. Okay, let's see what happens when I do this. Oh, yeah, video feedback. Neat. Okay, so what I will do now is I will pause for just a second and I will stand up and I'll go to another part of the apartment and, we're, and, and I'm going to do another experiment with the other side of the lens. So stay tuned. This is, I think this is going to get really interesting. Okay, let's resume. Let's see what happens. Oh, there's a reflection of what's behind me. Okay. A little bit. Yeah, this, this wall's got a lot of lint. I'm going to have to vacuum all that up. Yuck. Yuck. Okay, I had to pause to, to put some uh, uh, saran wrap, you know, food, food uh, preservation cellophane wrap around it and see what happens now. Let's see what happens with the lens. Oh, I look a little bit blurry. Ooh. It almost looks like there's, there's, uh, it, makes, it, it looks like the, um, the, the slots that would make a vertical, or no, horizontal type uh, window shades instead of a uh, vertical. It looks like they're bent in. See, they're not bent in, but it looks like it. See that? Looks like they're bent in. They're bent more like this instead of like this. Or like this instead of like the opposite. I can't bend my finger, but that would hurt. <laughs> yep. And, um... I got a nice uh, Christian mailer, and I'm going to send this one out to somebody. I don't know who yet, but it's very Christian-oriented. It is true the Lord is risen. Luke 24, chapter 24, verse 34. Yep, it's true. It's true, it's true, it's true. It's more than the fact you saved my life from death. It's a lot more than that. About how the... The, the type of power that Christ has. It's the truth. Okay. Um, oh, here, here's what happened earlier today. There we go. I found so, I, I had a little bit of a mind blank. Earlier today, I uh, was really feeling cabin fever. And after I made my breakfast, and after I watched some a couple of things on YouTube that I really needed to see, I um, I let my phone charge up a little bit more because I had plans of doing more than what I did, what I wound up actually accomplishing. And here's what I wound up actually accomplishing, and then I'll talk about what I really wanted to do. Okay, what I really accomplished was I walked up the steep... Uh, 
uh, parking lot between the two rows of the two buildings. And then I turn left, and then I go down Hamden. And I was going down a side of Hamden where on the sidewalks the, there was a pile at least this high. I mean, we're talking a foot or at least six, eight inches minimum. Whatever it was, it was really thick. And I was just going, ooh, ugh, ooh, ooh, you know, as I was walking. That was that was me acting. I was actually doing that because it was just it was just so thick, and you know I had to try as best I could to prevent my my uh, ankle getting twisted or my foot or my knee getting twisted. And I kept walking and walking and walking and walking, and I'd stop and I'd pause for like oh about thirty seconds, and I just keep walking and walking until I got all the way down to. Um, the area near where I got hit by a car on a April 6th of 2011. The South East Street corner of South Tamarack and East Hamden. And I had to cross the street to the Southwest because the South, near the intersection, now the Southwest, the Southwest Street corner, a little bit over this way, about 100 feet was where I got hit in the middle of the street. Yeah. That's why there's this skull fracture right here. And what I did was I got a refill on a prescription that I tried to get last night and couldn't because of the issue with the driver. His, his, his car really got stuck. And I, he, he offered to take me somewhere else. And I said, no, no thanks. You can just take me back to my apartment. Because uh, if I can't make it to the the um, pharmacy, then I really shouldn't go out at all as heavily as it's been snowing. And what I did was, is I walked uh, across the street, and then I go a little bit down. And with the way the CVS pharmacy entrance works, the parking lot is so huge that if you go down this way and you come around that way. It's a long walk, but if you go through the side, the side entrance, you can get to a pedestrian can get to the entrance of the store much quicker. And then what I did was I um, just stood there and I just tried to get myself together because I was really truly heavily wiped out, and my chest was starting to feel funny. And I was starting to feel a little bit jumpy because of not, me not taking a certain hypertension medication um, that I that I'm supposed to take twice a day. And um, then when it came my turn, I got my prescription drugs almost that fast. And then what I did was I walked out. And I was seriously, seriously contemplating doing one of two things. One, I sort of toured the idea of going into Whole Foods and getting some food that you could get at either the hot bar, the salad bar, or the little area where you can get the you can get like a slice or two of pizza for uh, at least uh, five dollars a piece. I mean, these are these are big slices of pizza, and the five bucks is worth it. It's not overpriced and unnecessary. I mean, the five bucks is worth it. Cause the, the, their slices of pizza taste so good. Okay, so I kept walking until I got to um, it's right between South Tamarack and I think Poplar. And then I crossed the street this way to get to the other side of East Hamden and going to Raising Cane's which is delicious chicken strips and fries with their special secret dipping sauce and uh, a little thing of uh, garlic bread mm -mm -mm. for a little less than $11 it's worth it it's worth it and um then what I did 
after I ate that is I carefully, even though it's it, it, it requires a lot of concentration, I carefully walked up the down the the sidewalk where where it wasn't it was a part of the sidewalk that was not hadn't been um, the snow removal hadn't happened. It hadn't been shoveled or it hadn't been had a uh, snowblower going by and go and just and just uh, uh, scrape it out, scrape it out and spin it out through the the top uh, um, chimney funnel or whatever it's called. The only thing that's kind of shaped like this, it goes out like that. <laughs> and then what I did was I um, I went into my old job, Tamarack Square Hardware. And I talked with a couple of employees briefly about about turning in some uh, LED lights, you know, lamp lights or you know just the lamp bulbs, not the long fluorescent ones that are longer than this. Um, and then what I did was I just shopped around on the inside of the store, and sure enough, I found something that I really could have used when I got a couple of ink spots on a nice white cozy dog uh, t-shirt. Yep, but I got something that next time, I, after I wear it, next time I wash it, I'm gonna put it on there. I'm gonna let it soak for at least 10 minutes before I put it in the washer and let it run a cycle of being washed and then dried in. Well, you know what happens when you clean clothes. And then what I did was I walked back into, I walked into, I didn't say back into because I didn't go in there in the first place. I walked into the Super Target and I did a little bit of shopping around and I thought, well first I tried to find a candy bar and the candy bars that they had right by the, you know, right by the registers that are impulse items that they have for sale. I was like, no. That's not what I want. So before I went to look in the area where all the groceries are, I looked at some shoes. And the one pair of ten and a half shoes that were the style that I would prefer, uh, they were too much like this instead of like that. Because see, I have a big white foot. Yeah. Back to here. I'll prove it. I got I got big flat feet. Okay, so <laughs> let me do a little adjustment here. Okay, that's about as good as it gets. So I'll change the way I sit. There we go. There we go. And um, <clears throat> I went in, and, and then after I looked at the shoes, I went. I looked at the uh, screen, the, the widescreen TVs, and because I was contemplating, I'm like, oh, I might take the Vizio smartphone and trade it in, because I had a two-year warranty on it when I bought it, right after I moved here, back in 2000, uh, either. July or August of uh, 2022, you know, when I was still just getting stuff and get, getting um, reestablished out here. And um, then what I did was I looked, walked over to where the groceries are. And the one types of candy bars I wanted, they're, they're, they're like a quantity of five was like, no. So then I just... I looked at the things where it's 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 like dollar day stuff. It's it's cheap kid stuff, supplies, all types of uh, knickknacks and devices and uh, impulse items. Couldn't find anything over there, so I go back over to the register, and I thought, okay, I'm gonna get a Kit Kat bar. I like those. I haven't had one of those in a while. And um, I I got that. I paid for it, and I thought about um, getting an Uber ride 
to a place where I'd done a video vlog about, which would be Twist and Shout Records. And I thought, uh, no, not this time. Not this time. I better not. I'm going to regret it. I'm going to regret it. So what I did was I left, and I cut across the parking lot just right, and I should have done a little bit better job where I, where I went up this, this uh, kind of like mini driveway that is like part of the sidewalk. It's flat. It's this direction instead of that direction. You know, like, like this instead of like that. Okay. And I, I, I cut over the, the, the rock bed and all that, and then I cut across the, I went from the northeast, no, the northwest street corner of south Tamarack East Hamden and went to the southwest. And then I crossed again and went over to the southeast. And I went to the um, stop that is for the Route 105. And that stop at that location has been there. I kid you not, since at least 1991. Yeah, 1991 was almost 30, well, January 1st, 1991 was uh, 33 years ago. And um, July, thir July 13th, 1991 would be 33 years ago by the time life goes on and we get to the calendar date of January or no excuse me July 13th July 13th 2024 it will be 24 years between July 13th 2000 no July 13th 1991 and July 13th 2024 33 years of time gone by. Yes. And uh, this may be interesting, this may not, but I'll go ahead and say it. What used to be, what used to go by there, by that stop, I'm pretty sure it was um, the, the, the 21, Route 21 9 mile. And when the Route 21 got reduced to what it is now, um, I it, then it was the Route 35. And it was the Route 35 between, um, I'm trying to think of when they did this, roughly 90, 92 uh, or early 1994 was when they made the big change. Maybe it may have been as late as 1995. So from about at least 1995 until um, I believe it was just a little bit after uh, uh, Ju May or June or as late as September 2020. Then it changed because the, the route got reduced to what the way it is now. Where it only goes from Southwest Plaza, or excuse me, from Inglewood Station all the way down to uh, Southwest Plaza, which is in, um, if it's not west, it's not the far west of this Littleton, it's um, at Lakewood. It's where it's where Littleton and Lakewood meet, come close together, and it's in Jefferson County instead of Arapaho County. Yeah. And um, now the only stops that go by there, in fact, the only one, the only one, the only bus is the 105. If you want to catch the 46 and go from there you, you have to cross the street this way and 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 the and the and the and the, and the route and the route 46 goes 
you know it doesn't just go straight down or it doesn't just, just go straight northwest it it zigzags you know a lot of twists and turns but hey it's a good place to go to because where it takes you it doesn't take you right directly to Cherry Creek Indoor Mall but it gets you close it gets you to Ellsworth and Adams and that and you walk two to three blocks across the street and you can get into the mall through Macy's the way the Route 46 used to be until uh, it got changed I think somewhere in 2020 or 2019, somewhere in there. You know, late part of 2019, early 2020, somewhere in there, somewhere in there. Um, it used to go all the way down uh, first. And then I did a U-turn. And it, it transformed from 46 to Cherry Creek to the 46 to Happy Canyon. And now how it works is when it, when it gets to the end of the line, they take a break for a little bit, and then they turn around and it goes it it, it goes from 46 to Cherry Cherry Creek uh, or you know four, number four, route 46 doesn't say Cherry Creek Mall it just says Cherry Creek, which means the Cherry Creek Shopping Center and the Cherry Creek Mall. But when it goes back south, it I believe it is Route 46. Southmore, meaning it goes to Southmore Station, the end of the line, and then what it does is it turns around and it, it goes back to uh, um, Cherry Creek Mall once they once the drivers had a little bit of a break, like at least ten minutes, so he can have a little snack, go to the bathroom, call his girlfriend, call his doctor, call a friend, and just. Talk to him a little bit. Call a mommy, a daddy, a grandfather, whatever it's gonna, whatever he needs to do. Yeah. Um, actually, whatever he or she needs to do, because there's there's female drivers, and, and a lot of them are nice, but some of them are snotty. They're just like, mm. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they. This lady kept asking me to show my ID card that I got with this, with 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 uh, RTD trans transportation for a discounted price. And I'm like, I've been riding here and I've shown you this before and I, I got to go through the motions with you when you know that I'm legally certified to get this uh, discount rate? How dare you, woman? Yeah, the last time she did it, I called RTD and spoke with customer service, and then I spoke with a supervisor and let the supervisor know what was going on. And she says, okay, I'm going to take action. Thank you for letting me know. Um, oh, yeah. Before I end the vlog, um, here, here's one other thing that I'm going to be looking into. It's probably going to be my next vlog or it's going to be soon. I will be doing a vlog about the year 1914. Yes. And even though I cannot show a photograph of the man because that's my father's father, a man who would have been my grandfather if he lived, but I would talk, I'll talk about uh, my dad's uh, father who was a... Um, a, a highly skilled, highly certified veterinary medicine doctor, or doctor of veterinary medicine, DVM instead of DMV. Yeah, he didn't just he didn't just uh, give treatment to dogs and cats and, and and rabbits. No, much more than that. He gave treatment to chickens. Oh, excuse me. He gave he gave treatment to chickens, goats, horses, cows, uh, 
bull cows, steers. Um, he even gave treatment to, he might have done it with uh, some wildlife, like certain coyotes and deers. I don't know about that for sure, though. And he could certainly do a really good job with dogs and cats, too. Yeah. And rabbits. And the other thing he did, this is what my father's told me. I don't know if this is really true, but the man did a, um, he removed the sack. He, he, he dissected or surgically removed the sack on a skunk. Yeah. We'll see what he probably did, if, if I'm right on this, is he, he had a special taser gun or tranquilizer gun. It would be the type that would sedate an animal instead of, you know, um, euthanize it, kill it. It would just go, and then the thing would run around and then he'd go to sleep. And then he would He'd probably have some gloves on. He'd pick up the he pick up the, the skunk. He'd take it back to his his uh, veterinary uh, medicine um, doctor's care establishment, and he would proceed to to uh, do some little bit of checking, cleaning him up, and then he would do the incision to remove the the the, 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 the sack and probably also neuter him. And that in itself will uh, help tame a skunk, so it's more of a house pet, instead of a wild, feral, crazy, rebellious thing where if you fall around the wrong way, it's gonna raise its tail and it's gonna spray you and make you sick. But anyways, um, again, the next YouTube vlog will be about 1914. And uh, I thank everyone who has been viewing my channel and I did the best I could to keep on track but uh, I had a good day not the best I've ever had but certainly good enough I, I felt like I made some I, I made I did some accomplishments I got a, enough to get it done attitude to not get everything done but a lot good day everybody and see you next time